What's up, my brothers? In this video, I want to address the question that came up in my community a few weeks ago where somebody was asking about what the best way is to get a raise. Uh, specifically, they were looking for a big one. Um, I've been self-employed basically since I was 30, so it's been a long time since I've worked for anybody, but I can tell you uh, from my experience in my 20s working as an employee and for the rest of my life up to today's date, working as an employer to some degree, um, I've probably worked for about, I'm going to say five or six different bosses and I've also hired and fired probably close to I'm gonna say 60 or 70 people so I've got a little bit of experience in this area if you know what I mean um, now generally speaking when you're working for a company um, you're pretty limited to your earning opportunity I'm gonna tell you at the end what the best way is to get the fattest raise possible so stay tuned right to the end but you're, you're always gonna be somewhat limited to your options when it comes to getting big fat pay raises most companies um, there's an old saying from entrepreneurs that I've spoken with and talked with at, at different conferences and this, this this topic of where you ask somebody how long have you worked for a certain company and their response is every since ever since they threatened to fire me that's that's an interesting dynamic because what that really means is most employees will just do the bare minimum um, to just get by so they don't get fired not all but a lot so you have to understand that that is a general dynamic of, of, of most employees like that's the mindset that's the belief system from which they're gonna go and approach this with so if you're a standout employee, and what I'm driving at here is you want to make yourself irreplaceable. If you want to get paid well, if you want to get big fat pay rises, you have to be the kind of person that's deserved of big fat pay rises and you know top shelf sort of comp compensation. Um, if you're lazy, if you do the bare minimum, if you check out early, if you call in sick a lot, if you you know if you're a problem for the business and you're the kind of person that's like, well, I've worked there ever since they threatened to fire me. Uh, don't expect much out of the company, and you're really setting yourself up for failure. It's the guys that have done all the work, are invaluable to the business, um, have made the, have basically worked themselves in a position where they're very, very difficult, if not impossible to replace. Those will be the ones that will be in the best position to get a, a very good pay rise. So let's move on to it. You're dealing with your boss right now you're going to be limited. You might get 5% with a review, maybe slightly more if you're lucky and they're feeling generous, but I'll tell you what the best way is to get the best pay rise. Uh, actually, it's, it's kind of funny that it works this way because it works this way in real life between men and women too. Everybody wants something that's in demand, okay? So if you're a man that's in demand, if you're a man that other women want and other men want to be, other women are going to want you. You're going to be in demand, right? Uh, it's basically that social proof, you know, that concept that we've talked about many times on this channel when it comes down to things that dive down the red pill rabbit hole. So one of the things that you actually have to do if you want the biggest pay rise possible and what ended up happening to me is I kind of stumbled across this by accident because um, in the industry that I was in in my 20s, there was a lot of recruiting for certain positions because there was a lot of credit card debt flowing to different agencies for portfolios and there was a lot of competition and they were looking for the best recovery rates and that usually meant you had to have a good manager running the team. I was one of those guys and there was a very small handful of people in the Toronto area that were very good at it. So I had basically worked myself in a position where I became that valuable. The problem was when I went to my boss, uh, the best that they would give me is four or 5%. The owner of the company was cheap. He did not see the value in me, uh, but he also did not realize that I was also being recruited by other companies. So what did I start to do? I wasn't pleased obviously with the offer because I started to learn that there were people that were actually being hired after me that were making more money. And here I am the loyal guy that had been there for maybe, I don't know, three, four, five years at the time or something like that. And um, they were hiring other people at around the same point or even higher in some cases than what I was getting compensated. And the value that I brought was far greater than somebody that was new and unproven. You get my point here, right? So of course, I'm getting recruited by other guys. So what do I do? I go and do the interviews, they make some offers. I ended up taking an offer from a company that was, uh, I think they were gonna pay me something like 20 or 25%. It was it was really high. It was like quite a bit more, more, quite a bit more money than what I was making and also closer to where I lived. Now, 
I did end up taking that position and I put in my resignation. And when I did, they, what did they do? Of course, oh, let me make it up to you. You know, we'll pay you more money. We're really sorry. We don't want to see you go. We'll give you this, that, and the other thing. And they promise everything under the moon and stars, except for anything close to what the offer was to the company that was recruiting me at the very high comp rate. Now, Hindsight is always 2020. You don't know what you're marching into until you get into it. So let me say this, it's not always a good move to move from one place to another. I did take it, I made a lot of money, but I also found out that the owner of the company, because I ended up reporting directly into him rather than um, the large company that I was at with like 500 plus employees. This place had maybe like 50 or something like that. So I ended up having to report into the owner. The guy was kind of crazy. So that didn't last very long and thankfully, I didn't burn my my bridges or my reputation at that time, so I had the opportunity to go back. I can't remember if I went back to the same company or another one, but I had the opportunity to go and find something else that paid me at a commensurate sort of level, so close enough. So just, just take that into consideration. Usually the best way to get the best pay rise is to work yourself into a position where you're so valuable, people are competing for you, uh, they're essentially recruiting you and they're offering you everything, and uh, make some demands. Like, don't be afraid, you know, if you're getting two weeks vacation and you want four, ask for it. You want uh, more medical coverage? Ask for it. Uh, you want your transponder paid for because you're traveling on a toll highway? Ask for it. These are all things that you're in a good position to negotiate. If you're, a, if you're a man of truly high value, you will be in a great position to negotiate these things to a degree that's going to satisfy you and make you very happy. Now, that being said, I did promise that I was going to tell you the absolute best way to make serious bank. And I'll be honest with you, it's not working for somebody else. Uh, the best thing I ever did was take a package when I was 30 and leave the corporate world and go start up my own business. Uh, I did not have any experience doing it in my 20s. I did run some small businesses when I was a kid, you know, as a teenager. Um, mobile car washing company. I used to uh, shovel driveways and stuff like that, you know, snow shoveling driveways in the wintertime. So I did have some experience as a kid, but the absolute best thing, the best thing that, you know, that you can do, if you want to write your own paycheck, employ yourself, don't work for somebody else. And that's really what it all boils down to. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want to connect more closer with me, pinned in the top comment, there's all kinds of stuff, links to join my community. I've got a business tier there, books that I recommend reading, uh, channel sponsors, all kinds of good stuff. Go check it out and uh, smash the like button, leave a comment, and uh, that helps out the YouTube al algorithms. That helps out the YouTube algorithms. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.